Hello, good friends. I have a little dilemma on my hands. I've been thinking about um, something I read about so many years ago. I don't know if you recall Elizabeth Isiche. She was a woman from New Zealand who was married to an Igbo man, a top-notch historian, very good at her craft. In one of her books about history and religion, she mentioned that the Igbos were probably the only people who converted their instruments of war into an instrument of peace. The instrument of war she referred to was the ube, the spear. The instrument of peace was the alo. In times past, when a people that constituted part of the priesthood of the priestly class of the Igbos, the Unri, when they go to make peace between communities, they go with an instrument called the alo. This alo was the spear beaten into an instrument used for peace. She was emphatic, and that uh, she was a historian that was acknowledged all over the world. I've been thinking about this. If this happened in any other part of the world, every history in the world will be talking about it. But uh, this little detail, if we will call it little, is hardly mentioned by Igbo historians and mentioned by historians from other nations. Nobody talks about it, about a nation realizing that war was ultimately or is ultimately not beneficial. But the dilemma I have on my hands now is if I want to talk about this and I say that the Igbos converted instruments of war into instruments of peace, would people understand that I am referring to the ancestors of the Igbos? Would people not think that I'm talking about the contemporary Igbos? And if people understand that I'm talking about the contemporary Igbos, is that right? The contemporary Igbos, or most contemporary Igbos, do not think they have a connection to their ancestors. They are not proud of their ancestors. Even this afternoon, an ignorant Igbo person thought that the ancestors of the Igbos were naked. So the question is, what is the proper way to present this? Do we say that Omenana converted instruments of war into instruments of peace? Or do we say that the ancestors of the Igbos converted instruments of war into instruments of peace? Or do we just say Igbos? If we say Igbos, people will think that contemporary Igbos did this. And uh, as far as I know, less than 1% of the Igbo population have any respect for their ancestors and for their own culture and religion. So, if you follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, if we talk by phone, help me find a way around this dilemma. How, what is the best language to use when talking about this great achievement? By the way, what made Isaiah unique? I mean the prophet Isaiah, the Hebrew prophet. He prophesied about a time in the future when nations will no longer go to war. And here we have a little known people in the center of Africa who practiced what Isaiah taught. And history does not talk about it. Thank you.